Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had done the majority of all the exploring around this level of the temple. So now we can go through this door and fight these dudes. Oh boy, I did not pause that again, game. And I might as well set these up. Perfect. What do you mean, immune? Alright, there we go. And they're done. We move on. To going up. Temple Summit. And here we are. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. And not bad. Okay. And who is this? I need. for me. Malak thought you might be afraid to enter the temple again, but he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly. Bestilla, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. Right. A pawn of the Jedi Council? What are you talking about? Surely you know what I mean, Revan. Look at what the Council did to you. They turned you into their puppet. The same thing they do to all who are truly strong in the Force. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared. But in reality, their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. Some of these are just cheesy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Some of these are just straight cheesy. Um, it's not too late, Bastila. You can still turn away from the dark side. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child. An inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. Oh. That last one. Hmm. Interesting. Don't be lured in by the Sith lies, Bastila. Lies? You were the one living a lie, Revan. The Jedi Council made you into something you are not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan, master of the Sith. But no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council in the Republic they serve. Like I was. Until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even. But that will never happen. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side, after I prove my worth by killing you. Mm-hmm. Right. Welp. Guess fight happens anyway. 
Ah. Well, how about that? Get her to half health, she pulls that. She was stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malik was wrong. The power of the dark side is not lost to you after all, Revan. Mm-hmm. Oh, so they give me the opportunity to go dark side on here. That's interesting writing, actually. Oh, my. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. I like that, actually. But we're going to go light side through and through. We're too far gone now. <laughs> to divert to the dark side again but <laughs> i draw my power from the light now bastila you can deny what you are Revan, but you're only fooling yourself i know the truth i have seen the shadows inside your mind remember i was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the jedi council i used the force to preserve your life Revan. we are forever linked by my actions on that bridge That is how I know you will come back to the light. These are not your true feelings, Revan. You are speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who follow the Jedi Code. But in our shared visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first. But now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Learn from my mistakes. It is not too late to come back to the light. Mistakes? No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. I'm not Revan anymore. I don't even remember those days. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Turn away from this path, Bastila. The dark side leads only to destruction. Bastila, it is not too late for you to be saved. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the power of the dark side is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. Wow. The options you get after this. I could go full light. I could go back to the Sith. And just outright decide to kill her. Wow. Okay, so light side ahoy. The Dark Lord Revan is dead. I am a servant of the light now. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. But now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. Welp.
Light side points gained and 4,000 experience. Wow. No wonder they leveled up. Okay. Uh, 18. Okay. There. Hmm. What do I make him do? Well, yeah, that's not bad. And Jihani. That works. Mm. That's a decent option, yeah. Okay. All right. And let's loot all of these before we turn down that disruptor field. Shut down temple energy shield. And that's now closed. And now we shut down the planetary disruptor field. Logging off. Beautiful. Now we'll be able to get the Rakata elders to come in and finish up their research. And then go to the Star Forge and end this once and for all. Alrighty. Once we get back to the Ebon Hawk, then we'll be good. Central Beach. There we are. And we head back down. And they're all waiting for me. Huh. All right. You're back. But where's Bastila? I is she alive? What happened inside that temple? A lot. Bastila has fallen to the dark side. She fled to the Starforge. The dark side? Bastila? No. No. How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Karth. Bastila was strong. She was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. She can still be saved, can't she? Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence. Especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories. And also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Vasila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. Mmm... That's an option, too. It took the whole Jedi Council and a mind wipe to save me. What chance does she have? Just give up on her? No. No, we're not going to do that. We can try, and we will. 
I don't know what fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. True. No doubt. But let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. That's a good idea too. Let's get moving. Oh, everyone's not in their usual room. Okay. That messes with my head. Okay. Got something on your mind, do you? A little. So if you liked Kashyyyk so much, why did you want to leave? Are we back to that again? Yep. I find it hard to believe you left the Wookiees just for some adventure. Hmm. What's the best way for me to approach this? Uh, perhaps it's time for a little story. Oh, boy. Couldn't you just answer the question for once? You just keep quiet there, you. I've had to put up with all your busybody questions, haven't I? Well, yeah. You listen to a story, damn it. All right. <laughs> oh, yes, the story. You almost made me forget about it. Nice try, but I'm not that old just yet. <laughs> now then, a young man sees a terribly venomous snake in his small village. Nervous. He watches the snake carefully until it leaves. The young man follows the snake into the forest. He clears the branches out of its path and helps it over obstacles. He even works to keep it fed. This is a very long story, isn't it? Shush! Many <coughs> nights pass, and still the young man continues to follow the snake. He even follows it into the sands of the great desert. In the desert, the snake eventually grows hungry. It turns and bites the young man. It's poison quickly working its way into his system. Finally, curious, the snake looks at the boy as he lays dying and asks, Why were you foolish enough to follow me all the way out into the desert? The boy looks back and replies, Did I follow you? I thought I was leading you away from everyone else. And then he died. Am I supposed to be the snake? Well, no. That's what I wanted to see for myself. That's a long way to come just to risk dying. I've come a long way as it is, and I'm going to die anyway, so that doesn't bother me in the least. I've told you before that you have right, a destiny before you. This does not mean, however, that your future is already written. They are not the same thing. You have the choice of which direction you take your destiny in. More than engine sucking Andor, certainly, but even he had a choice. So far, you've chosen to take the lighter path. Can you stay that course, even through the challenges ahead? We'll have to wait and see. I'm not here to judge you or tell you which path to take. I'm here ready to offer you my help, should you ask for it. I do that because I think it's important. More important than remaining in my home and pretending the galaxy doesn't exist. That's why I'm here. Thank you, Jolie. I'm glad you came. <laughs> I'm rather glad I came too, really. You're a fine young lad. I hope... I hope things turn out well for you. Now then, I've Me too. enough for one lifetime. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Damn right. And that should be the end of the Jolie quest line. It is. You've dragged more out of Jolie about his past than he probably intended. And he has more tales to tell you for now. Perhaps once your mission is complete and your destiny finally realized, you can talk more. Awesome. My Cathar blood seethes at the thought of that man still running free. I cannot stand still while I think about it, but but I will not give in to the dark side either. Good. He will pay for his crimes, though. He will most likely be... I, th I think we've already talked about that a dozen times, though. Candorous, is there anything more I need to talk to you yeah, about? Yeah, what do you want? Nope, Your choice. I guess not. Okay, well. Two. So, Ekandrus is the only one. I just haven't gotten there yet. Unfortunate. You have retrieved some genetic data from the ancient computer in the catacombs of the Temple of the Ancients. You're sure the elder researchers would find this information very useful. True, though. I need to get that taken care of before I forget. OK, 
Because, boy, did I already almost forget. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Gotta head back to the Eldars, which I don't remember which direction they are. Crap, crap, crap. Crappity crap. Uh, came from the South Beach, so it's gotta be North Beach. the only one that really makes sense. Okay. Jahani is running behind. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh well. Okay, there we go. I swear, the pathing always has just a little bit of an issue. Wait a minute. Damn it! I'm at the wrong... I'm at the wrong one. Uh, crap. No, it was the other one. It was the South Beach. Oh, I'm so dumb! Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. All right, Reggie, fast forward this. I'm so dumb. Okay, now we're waiting again for... Oh, we're waiting for Jolie this time. But we finally got here to the South Beach where we were supposed to be. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm so annoyed at myself. I can't remember directions for the life of me. This is why I use Google Maps too much. Okay. We head into the Eldar camp. The Eldar. The Elder camp. And uh, give them the information that they needed. Since we couldn't, we couldn't get it out of the one. Blah, 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 blah. I can talk. Usually. Alright. So now we need to go back to that researcher, which I think they're close. I just don't remember how close. There we go. There you are. Yes, Revan. Is there anything I can help you with? I have found data on the genetic structure of your species. You, you have? Thank you. Thank you, Revan. This data will aid us greatly in our research. You have done our people a great service here, Revan, but your destiny lies elsewhere. May the blessings of the elders go with you. Awesome! Uh, gotta sneeze. Welp, by near the end of the game, these are the last three quests I have, and I have no idea how to complete two of them. Welp, <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. Maybe I talk with the elders for the other one. You are back, Revan. When you refused to enter the temple alone, we feared you had betrayed us again. We did not expect you to return. Did you find what you were looking for inside the temple? Did you find the secrets to destroy the Starforge? Not exactly. I have to go to the Star the Starforge. I almost said Starforge. 
I don't know how that was going to come out of my mouth, but... I have to go to the Starforge to stop Malak. Then we wish you luck, Revan. For far too long, we have kept ourselves hidden away on this lonely world, hoping to keep the Starforge from unleashing its evil upon the rest of the galaxy. Perhaps, perhaps once the Starforge is destroyed, it will be time for us to leave this world, to rejoin the galaxy we have isolated ourselves from for so long. Hmm. I think the top one is the more light side one. I'm sure the galaxy will welcome you with open arms. You must know. You must go now, Revan. Blah, blah, blah. The Star Forge feeds the power of your old apprentice. If you do not stop him soon, he will become too powerful. To blah 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 blah. Okay, I will go. Away! And then it's the long trek back. <laughs> okay, Reggie, let's fast forward it again, shall we? Alrighty, now we are back to the ship and we are ready to go as much as the game will let us. <laughs> and we will be following the last steps of the whole thing. With these ship parts, you may be able to repair the Eppenhawk's hyperdrive. Ah, uh, yeah. I have to fix it, that's right. The hyperdrive has been repaired and is functioning properly. Beautiful. Okay, I think it is time to talk to Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I think I think that's everything. Okay, let's Go to the Star Forge. That symbol for the Star Forge. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. I couldn't do a planet. But, anyway. The space station is of an unknown configuration and is no entry in the Republic archives. And it never will again. The Republic fleet must have gotten the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up a transmission from them now. This is Admiral Fawn Dodonna to the Avon Hawk. Do you read us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Karth Anassi. We're receiving your transmission. Karth, I'm glad to see you're still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it. But that space station is far older than you can imagine. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith war effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. No, I can't it even won't. get our capital ships into position to start bombarding the Starforge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and count our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malak's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. Nice. Stella is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. 
How can we do that if she's on the space station? I will send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Starforge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. I mean, so is my ship. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evan Hawk and her crew are going to see this through to the end. Absolutely. Oh, boy. Heading in. Getting flat, fitting past all the turbo lasers. Well, those are two little Jedi ships dead. Unfortunate. Alrighty. The penultimate battle, as far as uh, I can see. Maybe this is where we can get the last bit of Candorus's story. Yeah, what do you want? Nope, I can't. Damn it. <laughs> Gods damn it. Alright, well, not much we can do there then. Oops. Oh well. So, I'm... Uh, keep readjusting my headset i apologize okay let's get going and of course we're gonna bring jolie and jahani why not i'll need all the jedi help i can get well that's one of them Several Jedi have already gone ahead into the Star Forge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic fleet will be wiped out. Come on, before they... Well... Damn! So much for catching them unprepared. We'll, well we these. tried. You get into the Star Forge and find Bastila. Hurry! Of course. Well, some pitched battling going on right here. Well, still got to do a little bit. And down. Yeah, well, help them out a little. There we go. Time to head on down. Let's see if we can find Bastila through these doors. Hmm. team of Jedi have penetrated our defenses. Their fighters have landed on the Star Forge. This is not unexpected. The Jedi are formidable opponents. Send the Star Forge's battle droids to deal with them. Lord Malak, forgive me, but how can mere droids be a match for the Jedi? You underestimate the power of the Star Forge's droid army. Dispatch the droids. Of course, hmm. Lord Malak. The Jedi have invaded the Star Forge. Destroy them. Destroy them all. Interesting. Welp. Time for combat. Again.
Well. Gonna be doing a lot of this, since it seems to be doing a lot of good. <laughs> All I did was force powers and just destroyed them outright. Wow. Okay. All right. That's some uh, true power I got going on here. Wowzers. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go to the left, technically. Ow. That hurt. There we go. Keep doing this. How about that, huh? Keep on doing this until you're dead. Once again. There we go. fact that it works I think is the funniest thing to me <laughs> the fact that it works and it works so well <laughs> what is it oh man yes all right <laughs> okay I think we're good. And we go at it again. And we have to walk forward a little further. Just to do them both again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> just realized just how stupidly strong that force power is. <laughs> oh boy. It's just so powerful. They have no chance to attack. And then they keep getting pushed further back so they can't get into melee range if that's what they're trying to do. And the pushback destroys the ranged capability because they have to keep pausing longer to get back into position to fire. <laughs> it's so useful. All right. We do this again. <laughs> <laughs> and kaboom <laughs> alrighty okay oh and they're still fighting over there wowzers didn't think they'd get so far ahead Oh, jeez. They are not surviving these skirmishes, that's for sure. Ah, more victims for us to slaughter. Joy. Well, we'll see if it, uh, helps here. <laughs> totally did. <laughs> it totally did the job here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Well, get their remains. <laughs> We're still getting crystals this far into the game. Wow. 
Wow, okay. I guess since these paths seem to essentially be the same. Then we'll just do this again. And again. And again. <laughs> and again. And again. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. The east door. Deck two. Alright. Okay. Lord Marak, about the Jedi. Ma'am, the Jedi. Did my droids pass their test? Did they destroy our enemies? M no, Lord Malak. The droids could not stop them. Strange. I did not think there were any among the Order who could survive an attack by an army of the Starforge's battle droids. It, it was Revan, Lord Malak. Your old master is with the Jedi here on the Starforge. Yes. That would explain why the droids failed. Revan was always strong in the Force. Very well. Send out all available troops, the apprentices as well. Do you, do you think they can stop Revan, Lord Malak? Of course not. But they will slow Revan down. That will give me the time I need to fully prepare the Starforge's defenses. I am curious to see the true extent of this space station's capabilities. One as powerful as my old master would make an interesting test subject. I see. So he's basically throwing all of his defenses together on the fly simply because he doesn't know how to combat me. Ah, interesting. Interesting indeed. All right. Do this again. <laughs> and again. And again. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Just to save on force points, we'll do some melee combat. Especially since we have destroyed the rest of his companions. <laughs> oh, we're already at it again, huh? Okay. Why does it why does this button keep double pressing? Driving me up a wall. All right, so there is no end to the combat, is what you're telling me. Okay. Okay. Alrighty then. We're just. We're just plowing through them. Never too old for this. All right. We're just blowing through them. They're nothing. Just purely nothing. There's just so many of them is the problem. It's just strength in numbers. That's all they got. You will fall. Come on. 
Come on. This one's just pure combat was not letting me hit them at all. Interesting. Come on. There we go. Welp. That's a problem. That's a bit of a problem indeed. Uh, advanced med pack. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh, you, you had to do that. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is literally not even fair. This is literally not even fair. All right. Let's go all the way to the life support pack. It should be. There it is, right there. <laughs> I knew I had to have passed it. All right. Okay. 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 All right. We're in trouble now. All right. Uh, there we go. All right. We're getting somewhere at least. Okay. <laughs> Not as quickly as I would hope, though. Alrighty. Oh boy. Oh geez. Oh gosh. Alright. Okay. Uh. There we go. Okay. Woo, this last combat. Woo, this last combat here. That was a true test of endurance that I just barely passed. Ho ho ho! Ho 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 ho! Hoo hoo! Well, at least we're getting all the life support packs to justify all the ones I used in that fight. Oh boy! Oh boy! I'm just making sure I get all the loot that was dropped for this. Because otherwise it, it, wasn't, it wasn't worth it at all. Alright. Okay. Didn't mean to use it on me. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Yes, sure. That should cover everyone. Okay. All right. We are way over time. And that combat was a slog. So, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> Let me try that again. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only stray cat playing games and trying my damnedest to get towards the end of this game in one piece and one mindset that will, <laughs> will at least let me complete the game. Because so far, whew tell you it's a real strain on my mental faculties for you